Hello and hi. So now uh, we are in the chapter 3, Input and Output. Okay, so uh, in this chapter, you will learn about input and output. Okay, at the start, the learning outcomes. Firstly, uh, you can define input and then you can describe keyboard entry, including types and features of keyboard. Identify different pointing devices, including game controllers and styluses. Describe scanning device, including optical scanners, RFID readers, NFC readers, and recognition device. Recognize image capturing device. Input uh, audio input devices and biometric devices. And then you can define output, identify different monitor features and type, including flat panels and ebooks. Define printing features and types, including inkjet and cloud printers. Recognize different audio and video devices, including portable media devices. Uh, define combination input and output devices including multifunctional devi devices, smartwatch, telephones, drones, robots, and VR headgear and glove. So for the introduction, have you ever wondered how information gets into your computer or comes out in a form you can use? So basically, it's from input device and also, and also output device. So the input devices convert what we understand into what the system unit can process. The output devices convert what the system unit has processes, processed into a form that we can understand. Okay. So for the input device, what is input? Any data or instructions used by a computer, input devices translate that data into a form that the system unit can process. Some hardware input devices include keyboard, mice, pointing, scanning, image capturing, uh, and also audio input. Okay. So, keyboard. Okay, this is the traditional keyboard. We also have a laptop keyboard and also virtual keyboards. We also have a thumb keyboard. Okay, so you can see uh, at the picture, uh, this is the traditional uh, keyboard. Okay. We have a laptop keyboard. Okay. We have a virtual keyboard here and thumb keyboard here. Okay. For the pointing devices, uh, what is pointing devices? It provides an intuitive interface by accepting pointing gestures and converting them into machine readable input. Okay, we have a wide uh, variety of devices such as mouse, touch screen, game controller, and also stylus. Okay, for the mouse type, we have an optical mouse, wireless mouse, and also touchpad. Okay, the optical mouse has no moving part. Emits and sends light to detect mouse movement. Can be used on any surface. So this is the uh, optical mouse. Okay. This is the optical mouse. Okay, wireless mouse. As you can see, uh, it's a battery operated. And use uh, radio wave or infrared light wave. So as you can see here. So wireless mouse and also touchpad. Okay, the touchpad controls pointer by moving and tapping your fingers on the surface of the pad. So this is the example of touchpad. Okay, touch screen. 
It can be touched with more than one finger. Uh, common on mobile device. Uh, we have an Apple iPhone, notebook computers, desktop monitors. Okay. And then we also have a stylus. Uh, uh, the stylus type is a pen-like device. Okay. Mostly used on tablets and also use handwriting recognition software. So, as you can see, this is a common um, on mobile device touch screen. Or we have a stylus. Uh, it's a pen-like device. Okay. Gaming controllers provide input to computer games such as a joystick. Uh, okay. So the joystick use pressure and direction of the stick. Gaming mice are similar to a mouse but high precision. Game pads use both hands. Motion sensing device control games by user movement. As you can see, this is a joystick. Okay, this is a gaming mouse. This is a game pad. This is a motion sensing device. Okay. So as you can see the picture there. We also have a motion sensing game controller here. Uh, we have a pedal wheel, a game pad, a joystick, and etc. etc. Okay. Scanning device. What is scanning device? As you know, uh, scanners convert scan data into a form of uh, the system unit can process. Uh, so we have optical scanners. Uh, optical scanners uh, have a different type uh, uh, of it, uh, such as flat bed scanners, document scanners, portable scanners, and also 3D scanners. So this is all the example of scanners. Okay, card reader. What is card reader? Interpret encoded information that is stored on debit, credit, and identification card. Okay, or we call it as a IC. Magnetic card reader. Okay, information read from strip when a swipe through a reader. Smart cards hold additional security information. Okay, usually we uh, we have a, a magnetic card reader here. We have a information uh, strip. Okay, so uh, this is the example. Uh, we have uh, some of the uh, credit cards, entertainment cards, uh, bank cards, and other similar cards. For example. Okay, so barcode readers, as you can see, contain photo electronic electric cells that scan or read barcodes or the zebra strip marks printed on product containers. Okay, we have a uh, one readers or UPCs and Mexico code readers. So the uh, one readers uh, is a handheld reader that we can. Um, Hold with our hand, uh, okay. And then for the UPCs and Mexico readers, UPCs are heavily used in grocery stores for automated checkout and inventory control. Mexico used by shipping companies for routine package, okay. So as we know, uh, this is the uh, barcode reader, okay. This is uh, one reader. Okay, and this is the UPCs or Mexico readers. Okay, a QR code stores information in both a vertical and horizontal direction. So, uh, as mentioned that uh, by using a QR code, uh, we can scan QR code in a vertical and horizontal direction. Okay, RFID readers. What is RFID readers? Radio Frequency Identification. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. 
We have a tiny chips embed uh, that or text in most anything, okay, or in most object contain electronically stored information that can be read using an RFID reader located at the several yards away. An RFID reader reads information on the text via radio wave. RFID can track can track uh, okay can track tracking times of runner in a marathon tracking location of people and other items checking lift ticket of uh, skiers checking out library books uh, gauging temperature and pressure of tires on vehicles managing inventory providing access to rooms or buildings managing purchases and also tracking payment as vehicle pass through boots on tollway system so uh, this is a rfid reader okay we have a microchip okay or here okay character and mark recognition reader recognize special characters and marks uh, character and mark recognition device okay so we have uh, several of character and mark recognition device such as MICR, OCR, OOMR, Magnet MICR, uh, it stands for Magnetic Ink Character Recognitions, used by banks to read encoded characters on check. Okay, so this is MICR. Optical Character Recognition or OCR reads uh, preprint characters such as one scanner. Okay. So, uh, this is the example uh, of the OCR, Optical Character Recognition. And uh, so, we have uh, Optical Mark Recognition or OMR, since the presence of absence of marks used for test scoring. So, we are really familiar with OMR, right? Uh, uh, because uh, we are using this OMR uh, in our exams at the uh, primary and secondary school so we know that so uh, it's an optical mark recognition uh, that can sense the presence of absent of marks used for test scoring this is the example okay NFC reader what is NFC reader NFC near field communication is a protocol based on RFID that define how a network use close range radio signals to communicate between two devices or object equipped with NFC technology. So as you can see, uh, here is an NFC reader. Okay, NFC enable credit card. Uh, so NFC tax here. Okay. Okay, NFC, uh, Near Field Communication, is a standard developed primarily, primarily for smartphone for two-way communication between the device and tech by bringing them close to one another. The range of NFC is very short, usually only an inch or less. NFC can be used for a number of things including commerce, user identification and security for example google wallet employs nfc to allow for mastercard paypass purchase transaction nfc offers many enhanced experience in areas such as transport automotive connected home connected health retail hospital hospitality and many more so this is the nfc reader NFC tax may be purchased and programmed to do anything you want. For example, an NFC tag can be programmed to turn off your phone's Wi-Fi, go into silence, or 
airplane mode when scanned by an NFC enable phone to save battery power when in your car. Okay. Image capturing devices. What is that? Yeah. It is used to create or capture original image such as digital camera and also webcams. Digital camera capture image digitally and store in memory. Webcams are specialized in digital video cameras that capture image and send them to a computer for broadcast over the internet. So this is uh, the digital camera and this is the webcams. Audio input devices. Okay. Usually it's a voice recognition systems. Use a microphone, sound card and special software. The user can operate computers and create documents using voice commands included in many smartphones. Okay, for example, Siri in iPhones, Cortana in Windows phones, Google Now in Google phones. So, as you know, uh, uh, by using our voice, okay, it will capture voice, and then it will create a voice print, and then uh, the, it will go to voice print database, it will go to sample or voice comparison, and capture voice to verify so is it to verify or to reject so it will check with database back so we, uh, this is uh, we have a uh, two uh, two um, steps uh, for uh, enrollment and also for verification okay biometric authenticate device okay a biometric device authenticates a person's identity by translating a personal characteristic into a digital code that is compared with the digital code in the computer or mobile device verifying a physical or behavioral characteristic. Biometric, biometric scanner can scan a person's fingerprint, voice, face, hand, iris, and retina for example the application of biometric is in our smartphone uh, if the smartphone is locked then it, uh, we just uh, need to uh, take a look at the uh, camera and it will automatically unlock the smartphones okay Okay, unauthorized access and use. Okay, unauthorized access and use. Uh, we have a sem several unauthorized access and use. We have a fingerprint recognition system, hand geometry system, signature verification system, face recognition system, voice verification system, iris recognition system. Okay, uh, so usually face scanner. Uh, it can it can scan our face or finger scanner it can uh, scan our finger hand scanner it can uh, scan our hand retina or iris scanner it will scan our eyes vein recognition and also voice scanner so this is the example of the unauthorized access and use Okay, so for the output device, okay, uh, we have uh, uh, several type of output device. Okay, what is output device? Output device process data or information. Type of output can be text, it can be graphic or photos, and it can be audio and video. So for the output devices, uh, it can be a monitor, printer, or audio output device. Okay. Monitor, known as screens or display screens and present visual image of text and graphic. So the output referred to as soft copy. 
the features of the monitor okay clarity resolution of pixels dot pitch we have a contrast ratio size and aspect ratio okay we have a several monitor types we have a flat panel monitor flat panel monitor require less power to operate portable and thin most are backlit three types of monitor we have a lcd led o or oled okay what is lcd liquid crystal display yeah it's more than uh, older monitors led is a light emitting diode it's more advanced backlighting uh, and OLED is organic light emitting diode. It's a thin layer organic compound that produces light. So as you can see here, maybe this is the OLED. It's very thin. Okay. Curve monitor has a concave screen that provides better view viewing angles near the edge of the screen. Okay, used by high-end gamers. Usually, gamers will use this type of monitors. Used for smartwatch display. Okay. E-book reader. An e-book is a traditional book print in electronic forms. E-book reader are dedicated mobile devices for storing and displaying e-books. Use e-ink technology. That can produce image that reflect light, okay, such as Kindle and Nook. So this is the ebook reader example. The other monitor types, okay, other monitor we also have a digital or interactive whiteboards. Uh, it can connect to a computer or a project, okay. Uh, and also control using a special pen or even your finger. Uh, usually, we'll use in the classroom or corporate board rooms. Okay, so uh, there, there is a digital interface whiteboard. We also have a ultra high definition television UHD TV. Okay, uh, the digital output delivering a much clearer and more de detailed image that regular uh, HD TV. Okay, so this is a UHD TV, example of UHD TV here. And also we have a digital projector. It will project the image from a traditional monitor uh, onto a screen or wall. Printers. Translate information that has been processed by the system unit. A printer produces text and graphic on a physical medium. Output referred to as a hard copy. Okay, so the features of the printer is the resolution, color, speed, memory, and duplex printing. So it's uh, as you can see here. The A, uh, the maybe the resolution uh, is not so high, so it will give a blurry image. Okay. Type of printer. Okay, we have a non-impact printer in and a, and also impact printer. Okay, what is non-impact printers? A non-impact printers form characters and graphic on a piece of paper without actually striking the paper. Okay, for example, inkjet printers, photo printers, laser printers, thermal printers, mobile printers, plotters, and large format printers. Okay, non-impact printers and inkjet printers forms character and graphic by spraying tiny drops of liquid ink into a piece of paper uh, color of black and white printers with a high with a higher dpi or we call it as a dots per inch produce a higher quality output reliable quite uh, quiet and inexpensive 
Oke. Okay. Okay, there is a an in inject printer. There is a pro photo printer. Okay, as you can see, photo printers are specifically designed to create photograph that rival any uh, 3mm film prints. Photo printers use inject or dye sublimation technology, also called thermal wax printing. A photo printer produces color uh, photo lab quality pictures. Most use inject technology. Pitch bridge allow you to print photo directly from a digital camera. Print from a memory card and preview photos on a built-in LCD screen. So this is the uh, example of photo printer. Okay, laser printer. Laser printers use a laser-like beam to produce image. It's really fast and excellent in quality. Uh, uh, it can be a personal or shared. Okay, so the uh, laser printer, the high speed, high quality, the color is very good. Uh, and we also have a black and white. Okay, this is the example of laser printer. Okay, so the thermal printer. Thermal printer generates image by pushing electrically heated pins against the heat sensitive paper. Monochrome thermal printers are used in cash registers, ATM, gasoline, uh, gasoline dispensers and some order in expensive fax machines. A dye sublimation printer is a computer print which uses heat to transfer dye into material such as plastic, cut, paper, or fabric. So as you can see here, this is a thermal printer. Or here. Okay, so you get a receipt from the stores. So they use a thermal printer. Okay. So mobile printer, what is mobile printer? A mobile printer is a small, like weak, battery-powered printer that allow a mobile user to print wirelessly from a mobile device. So as you can see from our mobile device, we can print uh, the uh, picture. So this is the example of mobile printer. Okay. Plotters. Plotters are special, special purpose printers for producing a wide range of specialized output and produce high quality drawings. Large format printers create photorealistic quality color print on a larger scale. As you can see here, uh, it's a very big. Okay, uh, it's used to print maybe a banner, uh, the backdrop, and etc. Okay, and also last one is okay. This is the uh, plotters, large format printer. Oh, okay. So this is the large format printers uh, can create a photorealistic quality color prints on a larger scales. So uh, this is the plotters. Okay. Uh, usually, uh, the studio base uh, use this kind of printer, and uh, large format printers uh, it use uh, to print banner and etc. Okay, impact printer. Impact printers form characters and graphic on a piece of paper by striking a mechanism against an ink ribbon that physically contact the paper. So we have a dot metric printer, line printer and also daisy wheel printer. So what is dot metric printer? A dot metric printer produces print image when tiny wire pins on a print head mechanism strike an ink ribbon. Much like the print mechanism on a type writer. So as you can see here, okay, mostly uh, 
usually uh, when you have a retail uh, purchase order and etc they will have this kind of dot metric printer okay line printer so what is a line printer line printer is a machine that prints output from a computer a line at the time rather than character by character so uh, as you can see here is the example of line printer or daisy wheel printer daisy wheel printer works on the same principle as a ball head typewriter the daisy wheel is a disc made of plastic or metal on which characters stand out in relief along the outer edge to print a character the printer rotates the disc until the desired letter is facing the paper so this is the sample of daisy wheel printer okay nowadays we don't use this type of daisy wheel printer okay so this is the type of printer uh, as you can see so this is a comparison between impact and non-impact printer impact printer text or image is formed in contact of paper and the printer head non-impact printer text or image is formed without any physical contact of the paper and the printer head the impact printer noisy, slow, and poor quality output, whereas the non-impact printer noiseless, fast, and high quality output. The impact printer, uh, this printer are cheap, okay, and non-impact printer, this printer are very expensive. Impact printer, for example, dot metric, line, daisy wheel, and etc. And the example of non-impact non printer is a laser inject thermal photo plot, uh, plotter and etc. Other printer, we also have uh, an all-in-one printer. It's a single device that prints, scans, copies and in some cases, fax also called a multifunction printer usually this is the new era of printer okay or we have we can call it a three in one four in one or five in one printer 3d printers create 3d shape with a thin layer of material repeatedly until created 3d printing uh, or additive manufacturing is a process of making three-dimensional solid object from a digital file in an additive process an object is created by laying down successive layer of material until the object is created each of these layers can be seen as a thinly sliced horizontal cross-section of the eventual object so this, this is the example of 3d printer we print the um, miniature object that we want to print okay so this is the examples tools for 3d printer processing okay we have a 3d scanners uh, we have a 3d modeling software and also 3d printer 3d scanners use different technologies to generate a 3d model 3d digital copy of object 3D modeling software, or we call it as a CAD, CAD, okay, computer aided design. 3D modeling software making virtual design of the object, for example, Blender, Tinkercut, okay, and also the 3D printer, print 3D solid object, okay, for example, here, this is the example of a uh, 3D printer tools. Okay, the other printer is a cloud printers. Cloud printers are printers that connect to the internet that provide printing services to others on the internet. Google Cloud Print is a service that support cloud printing. 
Okay, so as you can see, this is a cloud, Google Cloud. Okay, yeah, we have a internet Wi-Fi here, so it will print uh, what we want to print by using uh, uh, internet connection. Okay, the other printer is a Braille printer. Uh, this is used for uh, the people who cannot see. Okay, so they read by their hands, as you can see here. Okay, audio and video devices, it translates audio information from the computer into sounds that people can understand. Uh, okay, it, it includes speakers and headphones. Bluetooth technology, okay, the wireless technology that is used to connect uh, to the speakers and headphones. It sets. So this is the current technology. It's a Bluetooth technology. We put it, we, we put this uh, device in our ears, and we can connect with our uh, mobile phone. Audio output device, a data projector, is a device that project the text and image displaying on the computer or mobile device screen on the larger screen, so that and audience can see the image clearly okay so this is the data projector an interactive whiteboard is a touch sensitive device resembling a dry erase board that display the image on a connected computer screen okay you can see it's a touch screen computer a large touch screen computer Okay. Combination of input and output devices. So we have uh, several of combination uh, of input and output devices such as headset, a combined microphone and headphones, multifunctional devices (MFD). Uh, it's uh, is a cost-effective but lower quality, all-in-one printers. Uh, a good example of these multifunctional devices for input and output device. Telephones, known as telephony and internet telephony. Okay, so the VOIP or voice over uh, IP. Okay, uh, this is the example Hangouts, FaceTime, or Skype. Skype is uh, using this kind of technology voice over uh, internet protocol IP combination input and output device okay so JV good Bluetooth smartwatch touch screen smart tracker watch this is the example of combination input and output device okay drones and robots drones or unarmed aerial vehicles Take input from a controller and send back video and sound to the user. This is very cost effective for now. Okay, uh, that is for drones. The robots use microphones, camera, and other sensors as input. So the output is dependent on the use uh, for the robot. Okay, for example, to X to uh, assist in surgery okay we also have a virtual reality created in 3d through computer for a virtual experience uh, okay uh, so the headgear with growth ha that have sensors to collect data that work with software so this is the, the drone I know that all of you are familiar with it okay so this is the robots it helps in surgery and also uh, virtual reality so the glove uh, have a sensor and uh, they also can uh, give instructions to the uh, uh, programs input and output devices for physically challenged user okay hit mounted pointer Okay, this is a head mounted pointer. We have a camera or receiver, reflective tracking surface attached to brim of head here. Okay.
okay if you can see here it's a very tiny or uh, braille printer here okay a look to the feature uh, a look to the future augmented reality display with wearable argument reality displays data from your computer and the internet will be instantly viewable funding for development from the government has begun to assist soldiers and pilots google has developed a prototype project glass that is being test okay so this is the question and reference okay that's all for now i hope you enjoy uh, listening and enjoy studying uh, of input and output device thank you